So you wanna know how to transfer your domain name and website to a different hosting provider. Let me show you how I transferred mine in just three simple steps. Whether you're unhappy with your current host, maybe you found a better price with a different host, or you just wanna consolidate your domain name and your hosting all into one place, I'm gonna show you how to transfer your domain name and your website to a new host step-by-step. Step. We're gonna start by exporting a copy of your website, then we're gonna transfer your domain to the different hosting provider, and then we're gonna import that copy of your website back onto your domain once you're done with your new host. Let's get started. Step number one is to export your website, which is basically the same thing as backing up your website. From your WordPress dashboard, hover your mouse over the plugins tab and then click on add new. From here, we wanna search for a plugin called All-in-One WP Migration. After you install and activate it, go to the All-in-One Migration tab that appears on your WordPress dashboard and then go to the export tab. You may have to refresh your page for this tab to appear inside of your WordPress dashboard. From here, you can export your website to a file that you download to your computer. This is essentially the same thing as backing up your website. Now you have a complete carbon copy of your website that's been downloaded onto your computer. Step number two is to transfer your domain name to the new host. This is a process that can usually take some time. Usually it takes around six days. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer and sometimes it can happen a lot faster. You just have to keep checking. First, you're gonna need to unlock your domain with the current hosting provider. Whatever that may be, you're gonna navigate to the domains tab inside of your hosting account and then manage that domain that you're trying to transfer. You're gonna look for the option to unlock your domain. And sometimes it's in the same place as the transfer settings. Domain locking is a security feature that most hosting providers offer to prevent your domain name from being transferred without your permission. After you've unlocked your domain, you need to collect your authorization code as well as your contact info for the domain. You can also do this from within the domain tab on your hosting account. Depending on who your hosting provider is currently, this process can look a little different, but it's always the same in practice. Within the domain tab, you're gonna look for the manage or edit button for your domain name. From here, you're gonna look for the transfer option and then you're gonna generate an authorization code. Now that you've unlocked your domain name and you have the authorization code, you're ready to go and create a new account with the hosting provider that you choose. I'm gonna use Hostinger as my example because I trust Hostinger with all of my websites and I personally think that they're the best hosting company that's out there. You can click on the first link in the description or go to createaprowebsite.com slash hostinger and it'll take you to Hostinger's available plans that you can choose from. Once you select a plan and you fill out your payment information, you'll be taken to their setup screen. Instead of going through the onboarding, you can just click on the H logo at the top and leave the onboarding and go to your Hostinger account. Go to the domains tab and then click on transfer an existing domain. From here, you can provide the domain name that you're transferring and then pay for the transfer. Now go to the domains transfer tab and then view the current transfer. You'll be prompted to provide contact information as well as the authorization code that we gathered earlier. Afterwards, select use hosting or name servers, which is the recommended option, and then click on transfer domain. So from here, you're gonna have to wait for Hostinger to coordinate with your old hosting provider and then transfer your new domain to their systems. Lucky for you, however, Hostinger is gonna take care of the entire process for you. And so they're gonna handle the process of pointing a domain name to the correct name servers so that you don't have to worry about it. After a few days, the transfer will be done and you can import your site back onto your domain. So that would be step number three, which is to import your website back onto your domain that you just transferred once the process is complete. Inside of your hosting or dashboard, go to the websites tab and click on add new website. Make sure you select build a new website with WordPress. From here, go through the onboarding process and create your new website. When you're asked for the domain name, type in the domain that you just transferred. Finally, after installing WordPress onto your new website, enter into the admin dashboard and then install the all-in-one WP migration plugin. This time we're gonna go to the import tab inside of the plugin and import your website from the file that you downloaded earlier onto your computer. Congratulations, you've successfully transferred your domain name and your website to a new host. If you followed along with me and transferred your website over to Hostinger, you should check out this video right here where I talk to you about how to speed up your website. Hostinger uses Lightspeed servers as well as other services to speed up your website Site. So in this video, I'll talk to you about how to take advantage of these features to maximize your website speed. I'll see you there.